We're here at the uh, truck loading station, and what we're going to do is we're going to perform a uh, diesel uh, transfer into a dispensing truck. Stop. Okay, now that we got the truck in place, we're going to make sure that we set the uh, parking brake on the truck, and from there we're going to go ahead and chalk the wheels. Okay, most of the time we're going to chalk them with wheel chalks, but at the uh, time being, the only thing we have to chalk the wheels with is going to be timber, and that's going to be sufficient for this procedure. Okay, the next procedure we're going to do is we're going to attach the static ground line that's connected to the uh, to a good ground system. We're going to attach it to the truck, and this will prevent any static electricity that's present on the system, so in case we don't have a explosion. Okay, the next step in the procedures is, is to walk over to the tank that we're going to dispense from, and go over to the to the uh, main discharge valve, and we're going to unlock it, which we've already done. Remove the lock. <coughs> we're going to take the main valve. We're going to open all the way open until the handle is parallel with the piping. And now we have the valve open from the tank to the piping. And we're going to follow right down the piping and we're going to see that the that the that uh, this valve right here is a normally closed diesel truck loading valve. And we're going to take the valve and open this up. Now we are ready to transfer fuel to that point. Uh, this is our transfer pump that's going to be transferring the fuel from the tank that we're, we've selected over to the dispenser. So let's go ahead and go back over there and start the procedures. Okay, now we're back here at the diesel dispenser right here at the truck loading station and we're going to go ahead and uh, fill up the, uh, the truck with the diesel fuel and what I'm going to do is hand it off the hose over to the, to the truck driver to dispense fuel into the truck. Okay, the next step we're going to do is we're going to go over to the, uh, to the meter and we're going to turn the, the, uh, the dial until the meter resets back to zero. And this is going to, going to indicate how many gallons we're going to be pumping through. <clears throat> we're going to come down to our normally closed diesel truck loading valve. We've already unlocked it for this and we're going to take the lock off. We're going to open up the valve fully. And next thing we're going to do is go over to our main electrical switch to turn the pump on. Now the, the operator on top of the truck is ready to dispense out the nozzle. All he has to do is squeeze the nozzle and he gets fuel. While we're dispensing fuel into the truck, the uh, operator is going to be uh, always consistently uh, uh, checking the level and monitoring the amount of fuel that's going into the truck just so we don't have a uh, uh, overfill the tank and have a, a spill. Okay, we're done filling up the tank right now. We're, now we're going to go ahead and shut the uh, switch back off, turn off the pump. So we're going to go ahead and always lock it back up, make sure it's secured. It can only be used when, when, uh, when we want to. Come back over to the valve that turned it on, and we're going to close the ball valve, make sure it's completely closed, and we're also going to lock that back up. Remember to take the nozzle off the truck, and we'll make sure that the hatch is closed on top of the truck, so when the truck moves away, the, uh, the storage uh, container is, is uh, sealed up, and that way no fuel comes flying out of the, uh, the truck. And we'll go ahead and just wind up the, uh, the hose and the, the nozzle and put it back into its uh, proper storage place. Let's see. Next thing is to uh, remove the static ground reel off the truck and return it back to its, to its uh, static reel and wind it back up. Okay, we're back at the tank. We're going to go ahead and go ahead and close the the uh, tri this uh, ball valve, and we're going to go ahead and lock this back up. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and close the main discharge ball valve to the storage tank, and we're going to lock this up as well.